I'm Joel Walsman, CEO and Master Electrician of Jefferson Electric. We visited this in an earlier video, but I wanted to expand the body of knowledge. This is my jig made of half-inch plywood, half-inch being a critical dimension, matching the thickness of residential drywall. This jig, I've written on it in King Sharpie so that it doesn't get thrown away during job site cleanup, and it's going to facilitate me in locating the proper height of my single gang nail on box. Hit a knot, that was tough. Okay, so proper sequence in this process is a, in a total rough, residential rough in is I prefer, and this is a pro tip, I prefer to nail on all of my boxes before pulling any wire and then to pull all of my lighting wire so that I can pass through the framing from room to room before I run any of my receptacles. That's the proper sequence in my mindset. Lighting first, receptacle second. Sometimes it's on the same circuit, sometimes it's split up. That's a more advanced video that we'll address at a later date. One of the things facilitating me in pulling my wire today is this wire caddy. Notice the wire comes off straight. It's not kinked and curled. It's not getting wrapped up on the framing. It holds a 250 foot bundle, which is the uh, bundle that you purchase off the shelf at your local hardware store or electrical supply shop. And this 14 2, 14 referring to the gauge of the wire, 2 referring to the number of current carrying conductors. There are actually three conductors inside of this wire, a black, a white, and a ground. The ground is excluded from the name of the conductor. So this is a 14 2 Romex. Romex, or non-metallic cable, is color coded. This is a 10 2 Romex, orange, signifying 10 gauge. And this here, this is a 12 2. Again, black and white being current carrying conductors and ground, that third conductor being excluded from the description of the cable. So yellow for 12 gauge. This is frequently used for receptacles in kitchens, receptacles in laundry rooms, garages, places where a higher power situation is present for larger appliances. And this 14 gauge wire is utilized generally for all residential lighting and bedroom, living room, living space, receptacle outlets. Here I'm utilizing a 20 volt lithium ion DeWalt drill. It has a dual wing bit with a self feeding tip. That threaded tip pulls the bit through the stud and reduces the strain on me. I'm locating my holes approximately 12 inches above the box. That's a strategic height to facilitate both the pulling and termination of wire. In this situation, the staple should be located within eight inches of this type of single gang nail on box. I wanna allow just a little bit of service loop on that box. My hole's located above the staple strategically so that I'm not kinking the Romex when I pull it through that hole. I wanna allow it a smooth passage over that edge. I never wanna damage the cable when installing it. I wanna leave the outer jacket unscathed and intact. <laughs> 